for more on the brewing fight between Hollywood's biggest studios and America's most powerful movie theater chains, we turn to our Los Angeles Bureau, Bill Mechanic, CEO of L.A.-based Pandemonium Films and a former head of Fox Studios, joins us. Now, Bill, let me jump right in here. What do the theater owners want? Well, I think the theater owners want to make sure that they have first-run product before any other it's available on any other means. And I think they're correct. Well, they're correct that they want it, but why should they have it? I mean, the studios have got to make money on these things. It's nice that they're subsidizing the theaters, but they're, it's costing them money here. Right. I would think it actually is making them more money. The whole theory of, or not even th theory practice, of how movies are funded is the sequential distribution. That you go to see it in a theater, you see it in, in some other form and now video on demand or DVD or Blu-ray. You see it on TV, you see it in cable. So it, every time it plays, the studios are earning back more money. If you eliminate all that just to one window, I think it's completely destructive to the overall film business. So Bill, I know you are a former studio executive, but whose side are you on and why? Uh, I'm on the side of movies. I'm a consumer first and foremost. If I was running a studio still, um, I would be arguing that this is myopic, that is very short-sighted, um, a bad idea that's probably not been argued enough it, through and thought through enough that essentially if I get $30, $30 for a movie and I wipe out theaters, I wipe out DVD, I wipe out everything and I just have the one business, then only a few movies will work and those are going to only be the biggest and best known. So if a movie then doesn't work, so I, I, I make a movie for like an avatar for $400 million, if it doesn't work, then essentially I'm wiped out on that first evening with no chance of recoupment. Whereas today, if the movie doesn't work, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Corey. Well, no, Bill, I mean, you know, Avatar is on a class of its own, but most movies aren't Avatar, and the economics for most movies are getting worse. It's changed. I was, I was shocked when I started working on this story today to see how much, year after year after year, DVD sales are going down, the box office numbers are getting worse, the cost of, of marketing movies isn't getting any better. I mean, something's going to change but, but, someday. Maybe that was today. But those are self-inflicted wounds. Those are wounds that are caused by the studios themselves. Well, if, and let me go back to Avatar. Avatar is the most successful movie in history, and it, break, it only breaks even in the theaters. So it's, it takes all its other revenue streams to essentially make back its profit. But why do I say everything is it's self-inflicted? Because the movies obviously themselves aren't sustaining sequential viewings and, and even driving enough people to theaters. When you have a movie like Avatar, which t was 13 years after Titanic, you're, you're, it's too long in between windows. You're letting audiences go away. And there's way more competition for their, um, for their time, for their money. So you have to make movies that actually satisfy the audience. You can't just make movies that are marketing ventures, which is, I think, the last five years that you would say about Hollywood. By and large, I think it's the, probably one of the worst periods creatively for movies in history. Bill, we recently interviewed AMC CEO Jerry Lopez, and he threatened not to show these movies that are going faster to your living room, not to show those movies in his theaters. Can the theaters afford to do that? I think they can't afford to do it long term. Certainly they'll go out of business if they do that. I think the short term, that if you don't do something, then things will happen to you. And again, one, Bill, more, one more point on... Yeah, yeah please, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say one more thing that when you get into, when you look at the drops in revenues, the biggest drop in revenue is, is coming out of DVD slash Blu-ray, but the studios essentially introduced at the peak of, of a recession um, a new format, which I think the audience has just said, well, if you're going to keep outmoding what I'm buying, then why would I keep buying? And if you track where, those, where that revenue fell, it fell with the introduction of a new technology, which wasn't substantially better than the technology in front of it. I think this could be that same thing. You lose audiences by doing that. Uh, we shall see, Bill. This is, a, this is a hot area of technological change, which we love watching here in Bloomberg West. Thanks for coming on.